Thursdays until November 4th, Senator Obama just made his last big push on several of the major networks tonight. Meanwhile, the L.A. Times is refusing to release the tapes of Obama at a dinner with Columbia professor Rashid Khalidi. The paper maintains that it's protecting its source, while the McCain campaign continues to call for the tapes to be released. Joining us now to sort through all these media issues, Fox News contributor Bernie Goldberg. Bernie, welcome back to the show. Um, Thanks, Alan. Certainly, you understand as a journalist yourself the idea of protecting one source. And the L.A. Times wouldn't have broken the story in the first place without that promise. If they were hiding anything, they wouldn't have done the story. Right. If there's a confidential source and they made an agreement, then the L.A. Times cannot release the tape. I agree with you on that. But I want to make two points. One, I'm not sure the L.A. Times is telling the truth. Two days ago, a Fox News producer contacted the L.A. Times and asked if they would release the tape. The Fox News producer was told the story, the print story, speaks for itself, and there was not one syllable mentioned about a confidential source. All of a sudden today, they come up with a story about a confidential source. Maybe it's true, but you'll forgive me if I'm skeptical. The right, second but, point is, yeah. let me make the second point yeah. real quick. If John McCain, if John McCain were on this uh, videotape meeting with a similar group on the right that these people were on the left. Let's let's be generous and say a controversial people on the right. Why do I think the LA Times would figure out a way to release the tape? News organizations are in the business to disseminate information, not to suppress it. They should go to their source if the source even exists and they should put some pressure on right. the source to try to get and you know what? that maybe, person to agree to release it. Maybe they're doing that. But John McCain gave the guy a group headed by this man Khalidi, $448,000. He gave them a grant of almost half a million dollars. So how can you blame you, Obama Alan, for having dinner with a guy when McCain gave the guy hundreds of thousands of dollars? Alan, in your lead-in to, to, to me, you said, I'm here to sort out media issues. That's not a media issue. Okay. The only media issue, the only media issue on the table is whether or not the L.A. Times should release the tape. And I'm saying if there's an agreement not to, they shouldn't. But I am not at all sure they're telling the truth about a confidential right. source. If the L.A. Times wanted to suppress the story, they wouldn't have published it in the first place, right? Well, you know, you know, there's there's a big difference between reading the story, which I did. It was a it was a fair story and an interesting story. But there's a big difference between reading the printed word about Barack Obama being at a celebration where people were calling Israelis terrorists and comparing them to Osama bin Laden and watching it in a moving picture. The power of the image is much hey, different Bernie. than the written word on a piece of paper. And, and let, uh, let us go back. You're right about the Fox story, which I referred to earlier, and that is that they had a very different story that they were telling a couple of days ago. But in the original piece that they wrote in April, they used the words, the L.A. Times has obtained a copy of, of this video. It didn't say they had a chance right. to view it. It didn't say that they... they they would have had to, if there were full ethics involved, they would have had to disclose in that original piece what the circumstances were and why they weren't able to show the tape. Would that not be true? Yeah, and that's why I say I'm just skeptical as to whether there's a source or not. Uh, they did mention in that story, as you correctly said, that the L.A. Times obtained a tape. I got the impression... I may be wrong, but I got the impression that the reporter wasn't at the celebration in Chicago with the Palestinians and right. Obama, but that he wrote the whole story from the tape, and that's why they well, said they received here's the tape. The deal. We but they didn't. Go ahead. Go ahead. Uh, but they didn't say anything at the time, and they didn't say anything exactly. two days ago about there being a confidential source. All I'm saying, I'm not saying the L.A. Times is lying. I'm saying I'm skeptical that they're telling right. the truth. Now, look, we, we, I think we've got to go through this in a little more detail. S obviously, if the L.A. Times, there is a tape. This tape exists. Uh, it goes to the heart of a pattern of radical associations. Rashid Khalidi, and this uh, goes to the judgment. Absolutely. Here's a guy that, you know, called the establishment of Israel, as we set, showed in our setup piece, a catastrophe. He was a spokesman for Yasser Arafat, the PLO, while they were listed as a terrorist organization. This is not a benign figure. Now, at this dinner, Obama reminisced about the many dinners that he had with the Khalidis. Also, as you pointed out, there was a poem recited accusing the Israeli government of being a terrorist state, and also right. a speaker likened, quote, Zionist settlers on the West Bank to Osama bin Laden. I mean, right. now we add Reverend Wright. By the way, Bill Ayers and Bernadine Dorn, the unrepentant terrorists, were at this dinner. 
So now we That's get right. to this, this whole laundry list of extremists, the hardline extremists, including terrorists, that Barack Obama repeatedly aligns himself with here. Now, Sean, why does the LA Times need to hear you and me speculating about I, this? I, I'm not they that should, smart. They should figure Bernie. out. They but we've been way ahead on right to errors and all these things. I don't know. Right. They don't, they don't need this, is what I'm saying. They don't need the two of us suggesting that they're, they're covering for Obama, which, frankly, I think yeah. they are, and I think you do also. Yes. They don't need this. So they should go to their source, if the source even exists, and they should say, look, this is an important piece of information. Well, We're in the business of sharing information with the public, not keeping information from the public. We want to. We want to ask you again. Can we release it? Well, so whoever has this I, tape, I want to say one thing. Jewish World Review. I got to know from its publisher. They are offering a reward for the tape. There's money available, uh, and if the person was willing to break the story and show it to the L.A. Times, and by the way, the L.A. Times is under new ownership now. So this happened, I think, under the old ownership, and and I think they had you know a pretty slanted left paper, and I'm not sure what the direction will be in the future. But if they have access to that tape, they owe it to us, right, Bernie? Well, not if they made a confidential agreement with somebody, but they should, they should try to get it out by talking to the source and, and seeing if they could do it. But again, yeah. I am not at all convinced there is a confidential source. Yeah, well, uh, but the tape exists. Will the, the question here is, will the American people have the right to see Bernadine Dorn, J Ayers, and a guy that thought the creation of Israel was a catastrophe and Barack Obama praising him before the election. I'm betting not. I'm betting not. I hate to say it, I'm betting you're probably right. All right, we check it. Thank you, Bernie. We check it with Greta Bay.